Hey all, here again I have come up with another important feature which is nothing but camera and gallery. As you see, capturing images from camera and fetching images from gallery is required in most of the application, especially in photographic domain. Here in this video, we will see how to implement this functionality in our application. So to work with this camera and gallery, you first need to import image picker package, which is providing by your Flutter. You just needs to import and add it to your pubspec.yaml. So we'll see, just open your pub.dv and type here as image picker. So right now we are just picking only one image, we are not going with any multiple image. So in Android, you don't need to do much, just simply you have to add this to your manifest file. That's automatically the code will work. But for iOS, you have to import all this into your info.plist file. So we'll see how we can how we do how we're going to do that. So inside installing, you can go here and you copy this image picker, go to your spec.yaml under dependencies, just add this. So once everything gets downloaded, so it's downloading all the Flutter packages here. So you see all, all the fly, files are downloaded over here. And uh, go back to your main file and open this iOS project. You can simply open the iOS folder over here and inside runner you see info.plist. Here you can simply add those uh, uh, info.plist file. You can simply copy it. Go to readme. And whatever it was mentioned here, you just simply write it. But I have Xcode, that's the reason I'm just opening an Xcode project over here. And inside the same thing, whatever you see in the Xcode, the same thing you can see in the Visual Studio over here. Uh, but I have an Xcode, so that's why I opened here. And this is this I feel this is very handy. So I'll go here and add all the necessary and I'll add all the necessary supporting files for this. Uh, projects so I need image picker and I am not doing anything for the camera because I'll add the camera dependencies but I'm not doing anything with the camera why because I'll add a functionality for camera because I'm running this in a simulator in simulator we don't see the uh, camera option only we can pick the images from the gallery that's the reason we are just adding only dependencies related to the uh, gallery but even though I'll add so this is for camera this is for uh, privacy for the camera so when you add this this, this will allow you to, to pick images using camera so right and uh, for picking images from the gallery you should go to the again you should go down to the privacy over here and inside privacy you see photo library users description this one and i'm just adding another one which is the one which is above this photo library users which is photo library edition I will add this one also and if you see the spec.yaml uh, sorry if you see this uh, flutter uh, package over here they are asking for microphone all microphone is not required because you are not doing anything uh, we are not doing any audio recording nothing over here but in your case if you want to do something like this you can add this but in my case I am not doing anything that's why I am not adding here so right now I have added one for camera and other two for image picker so I have done this and I am just simply closing this I don't need any I don't need any more if you come here and if you open the info.plist you see these three lines were added additionally previously these lines are not here now you can see these lines so NS camera description library photo description and photo library additional description and here the strings are empty I'm not writing anything here you can simply write it we are just asking permission uh, to pick images from the gallery like there whatever text is required you just if you want you can write it so I'm not doing anything here because I'm not submitting anything to the app store right that's not uh, that's the reason I'm not doing anything here just simply I have created the keys and I kept the strings as empty so here nothing you know to do anything apart from this so next I want to create two buttons uh, which is uh, one for picking a camera and other for picking a gallery so those buttons I will create uh, using a uh, floating buttons so we'll see how we can how we can going to do that so after my app bar I am going to create a floating action buttons here I want to display two buttons one for the gallery and the other one is for the uh, camera uh, if you run this application in a real device you can see the functionality for camera but I'm not running in the real device I'm running in the simulator so I can see only with the gallery or picking image from the gallery so we'll see how we can do that the first thing so we have added the dependency so the thing is we have added the dependencies right I first need so let me create first floating buttons over here so after the app bar let me write a floating action buttons inside the floating action buttons let me write a column and inside column I'll create a children and inside children I'll create two floating buttons floating action button 
one floating action button so i want to create two buttons right so i'll add two floating action buttons so and pressed here inside child i'll creating icon so i'll name this icon as a camera so icon dot icons dot camera so when i write this you see here on the top it was happened i'll show you child icon of icons dot camera so this is okay let's come here again one pressed again inside child i'll write icon and again inside icon start foot album let me write a foot album it's okay so totally two icons i have created but if you see these icons are on the top you can see it was at the top because uh, we are not given any alignments over here we have not uh, done anything that's the reason simply had added these icons on the top so let let's move those icons to the bottom of our screen so we want these two icons over here one for gallery and the other one is for camera to do that let me create a main axis alignment no not in the children and next to this uh, i want to create main axis main axis alignment i like main axis alignment dot end okay and you see the main axis alignment to the end now you can see these two floating buttons was created here one is the camera one and the other one is for the gallery i need some space between these two so to do that and after the first floating button i'll create a sized box here and i'll give it as a height as some 15 okay you see there are some gas now we are done with creating two floating buttons and okay inside this functionality we'll see how what we're going to do this and after this let me create a like the file so go to my home screen dot state here and here you see uh, few methods are deprecated for image picker and uh, this is a recent what are what are we we are seeing this, this is a recent one recently updated i think it's updated just uh, uh like one week before i think yeah you can see this published on august 22 it was recently updated that's the reason there are few methods for picking images using image picker are uh, uh, deprecated so we are just working with the latest code okay sorry so pick the file and i'll just name it as image uri i'll write i just defining the image picker over here and I'll create an instance and I'll name it as picker and here I'll simply call image picker okay and after this what I need to do uh, what I'm going to do is uh, so after okay I'm done with the app bar it's okay and after this i need to define a body property so in this body property i'll write a container i'll just create a container so inside container i'm going to call this image url over here so how i'm going to write is is image uri is equals to null so i'll create on ternary operator over here is creator so what i'm going to i'm going to show one text message is no image if the image picker if the image url is not null then what i'm going to do is inside image i'll just image dot i have something called image dot file and inside file again i need to pick the file and inside this file i'll call the image uri dot path so if the image is available so this is giving some more warning here so go here the yellow button uh, i need to import a dot ivo file so, so when this when you import this this uh, this we have sorted out this error so now we are done so now we are done with 
So nothing was done. As you see, uh, see as you see in the simulator, it is showing like no image because right now we have not picked any image. Just we have created UI for these two buttons, and as well as we have created an image over here. So this there's an image right now. There's no image over here. That's the reason it is showing as no image. Next we will create the functionality to get the image. To get the image, so we need to create one functionality over here, which is a future. So I'll call get image. Sorry, get image from camera and as well as gallery so i will not create two separate functions for camera and gallery i will create only one function in that using a boolean i will differentiate whether it's a camera or a gallery so here i will write something called is camera which is a boolean and this is also nothing and here i will create one variable and i'll name it as create an instance of image and i'll write await and i have a picker which is an image picker instance dot get image so inside the get image what i am going to do is inside the source first i will check here okay so, yeah, just, so here i will check is camera if it is a camera is equals to 2 if it is camera is equals to 2 what i need to do i will call the image source as camera so so this will call the image sources camera I mean, this will open the image camera so otherwise if is camera is false then i will call image source dot gallery okay once this is done what i need what i am doing is i will set the state and inside state what i'll do to my image uri what are the currently image that i fetch from the uh, this function like from this get image I will append this to my image URI okay so now see now we are done now see now we will run the application and we will see the result enters so let me close everything first I, as I told you right when we tap on camera nothing will happen why because we do in simulator we can't see any camera so let's check so I am tapping on the okay sorry we have created a function but this function we have not called anywhere so we have to call here okay go here get image from gallery so the first one is a camera so i have to pass it as a true the second one which is not a camera so i have to pass it as false so what this will do so this will come to this function and it will check it is a camera and this will open if it is not a camera then this will open this gallery okay the application has just restarted and if you tap on this gallery here you see it is asking for the permission to access the photos when you tap on ok you see it has opened the gallery over here so if you can select any image over here this image is going to be displayed over here but if you tap on the camera right now i told you right you are running in a simulator in simulator you don't have an option to open a camera if you click on here it is asking like would you like to access the camera so when you click on ok it is a camera is not available so this option is not available but if you run in the real devices you can open it can open the camera and you can that can capture images and those images will automatically get displayed over here this is this is how we see the working of a uh, camera and as well as gallery functionality using image picker uh, package so this is so simple and it can be used in most of the applications widely